Hello, so I have decided to um, go back to this old school version of, um, of recording because <laughs> the live stuff just never seems to work out. Well, it has a couple times, but um, I didn't want to deal with issues. So um, I apologize for the poor lighting, but I wanted to get this video in. Um, I think I'm up to, I think this is day non-consecutive at this point, but somewhere in the 20s, early 20s maybe? mid twenties, uh, video. And, um, yeah, so I wanted to update you on kind of how my life has been evolving. Um, I heard that my last video, the sound cut out, um, I just started watching it and, um, it was working for the first few minutes, but I'll have to see exactly where it cut out. So, um, regardless, um, my new ventures. So right now I live in a tiny home called the tiny house of love and I love it I'd give you a tour but my stuff is everywhere um, not that I care give me a call you can come over but um, I am thinking of downsizing even more so uh, in a couple ways so downsizing my home but also getting rid of a bunch of stuff so uh, three years ago I was accepted into Peace Corps and I got rid of like a lot, like almost everything. Um, I basically stored, um, with my partner at the time, we'd stored like 15 bins or so, um, which is so that was like between the two of us, um, plus bikes, um, at, at a, a family friend, um, friend, family, uh, house. And so, um, but I remember the weeks, and Facebook is great at reminding, um, I remember the weeks leading up to that. So I was, um, like, posting on, on Craigslist and Facebook, and I was basically, like, kind of scrambling the last few weeks, especially the last, um, uh, two weeks, especially because... Um, my partner was at a 10 day silent meditation, um, which I had done prior and highly, had highly recommended it to him. And so he, um, was doing that. So I was solo, like dumping stuff on the lawn. And so, you know, it was, it was kind of a shit show. And I would literally post on Craigslist, like tons of free, awesome stuff moving to Africa sale, you know, like. Like, I'm moving to Africa, like, I'm getting rid of everything. And I would wake up, I would dump so much crap on the lawn. And not crap, like, stuff that was worth good money, too. Um, nowadays, I'm like, how can I find the people that are moving to Africa <laughs> or joining Peace Corps so that I can go scope on their lawns? Um, because, yeah, I was just, I ran out of time. And, you know, um, so, anyway, I would wake up in the morning and I'd go out to the lawn and it would be empty. I mean, there'd be like, you know, a hanger. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, but you know, I was making no money off that. And, um, and the stuff that I was selling, I was in such a rush to sell that I was getting a lot less than I could for it. And I regret some of that stuff. Like there's some stuff that I, um, like I've always believed in buying, um, nice gear cause I'm an outdoor enthusiast and, um, the gear that I had had when I sold it three years ago was all stuff that I had purchased, um, you know, uh, like a decade prior or more, um, most of it anyway, and had lasted me that long and was going to last me another few decades. It was stuff that was in really good condition. And, um, and so it was hard to, to sell some of that for so cheap because I knew I could never buy it back for A, the price that I purchased it for, you know, so, like, long ago, and B, um, that it just was stuff that was high quality, well, I guess that ties into A, I, but I just, I, I basically knew that I wasn't, it wasn't, like, replaceable in the same way, and I was just listening to some videos about people who have, um, downsized or, um, you know, gone, moved into their van to go live in the road or people that have, um, moved off grid or I've been watching a lot of videos and lately. And, um, 
Yeah, and, and one of the things that I am taking away is just, you know, if I can't replace it when I come back, whatever coming back means for me or you, um, you know, for if you can't, rep if you know you're going to repurchase it and you can't repurchase it for the price that you got it for, then keep it. And so, for example, my road bike, which you can kind of see behind me, um, I've had my roadie um, for almost 20 years. It's a solid Cannondale, and I love it. And I, um, it's just taken me through so many journeys, and I, I worked at a bike shop when I bought it. So I never will spend the amount of money um, that that bike was worth, even, even if the, the price I actually paid for it. I still won't ever repurchase a road bike at that high of a price. Um, so I'm going to keep it. And so I'm just, um, just as I'm downsizing again, and uh, now I'm in this new process of, um, instead of not moving to Africa, but I am going to, um, I think I'm going to go on the road for a while. And so living out of my truck is going to take, a lot of downsizing. So I want to, um, I'm going to store some winter stuff here in Montana and, um, cause I want to come back for the winter and snowboard and, um, cause I love snowboarding and I spent last winter here and, um, the mountains are just so much less crowded than Colorado. And, um, and then I'm going to store some stuff with friends, hopefully, uh, in Colorado and, um, like a little bit longer term storage and the rest I want to get rid of. So it's going to take a lot of downsizing. You know, I, I live in a tiny home. It's about 12 by 24 is what I'm in right now with, um, there's extra space. The bathroom takes up more than that. Like bathroom is kind of outside of that 12 by 24. Um, and it's pretty good size, but, um, and there's lots of great storage like above me that you can't see. Um, but I just don't need, you know, all the stuff. And so I'm trying to like kind of, um, like channel all the stuff that I've been reading and watching lately about essentialism. And, um, you know, there's books that show you how to like, you know, look at an item and there's like, you can set certain rules so you can say, Oh, I haven't used this in a year. So it's going, or there's also, um, books that talk to, talk to you, uh, or talk about like, if you look at an item and, um, you can say, you know, like, what does this contribute to my life? Um, and if it contributes something positive or happy and you keep it, if it doesn't contribute really anything, then you can throw it away or donate it or whatever, recycle it. And so, you know, I'm thinking about like pictures, like I have a whole bin or two of physical pictures, which a lot of us nowadays don't have, right? Like the pictures in the last decade and a half or two decades of mine are all digital. Um, and I'm not even very good at keeping up on those. I don't even know what some of those are hidden on some files. So, um, yeah, so I'm like, okay, so do I take that bin and do I have somebody scan all those photos, pro scan them and then, you know, or I could do it, but I don't have the time. So I'm trying to like manage my time and, um, and see, you know, what I can do and what I can fit. But, um, but I'm really inspired. I've been watching all of these videos on, um, people who are living out of their trucks and vans and campers. And I try not to watch, I'm trying not to watch the RV ones or the van, like the bigger van ones. Um, just because it's like, it gets me excited, but it's like, oh, but they have space, right? So then I'm like, mm, I don't, I'm not going to have space. Um, so I just want to be cognizant of that. Um, I have my pickup truck and, uh, I have it with a topper and I'm going to be living out of that for, um, at least a couple months and I'll probably, um, vlog through that is through that process. Um, right now I'm trying to do a bunch of research on, you know, where, where I can, um, where I can stay, where I can get data and internet, um, you know, essentially have cell service, um, trying to do some research on, um, where I'll be able to have like freedom in terms of waking up 
Like, I don't want to be waking up in a parking lot where I have to be worried about where I'm staying, um, being out of there at a certain hour. But also, I'm going to need data. I'm going to need Wi-Fi. I have a job. And um, I love my job, and I want to um, keep my job. So I'm doing a bunch of that research right now, and um, watching all these video, um, all these YouTube videos on how people are doing it um, is inspiring me to keep, like, keep talking to you all about what I'm doing, and... Um, and share with you what that process is like. So if you have questions about, you know, how I'm thinking through things, like in terms of, like, I'm, I'm literally thinking about pooping. I'm thinking about, um, you know, mail. I'm thinking about, but I'm also not thinking that deeply about the future where I'm going to go and stuff like that. So it's, it's an interesting process for me. And um, who knows where, where I'll end up, but it'll be. I'm oh, sorry. I always yawn in these videos. I think it's because I don't breathe. Maybe because I get nervous. I don't know. Um, <laughs> which is so funny because that's what happens when I sing, like at open mics. I like don't breathe, so I go flat. It's really awesome. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you have questions, um, I don't know what I'm even... If you have suggestions on what I should call my blog post for when I start this whole process, um... Right now, my blog is thoughtfulbacklash.com, uh, and you can kind of read about my journey this past year. Um, I haven't posted very consistently, um, but there's some good posts, um, I think. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll just keep Thoughtful Backlash and just keep going. But I would like to have sort of a nomad, truck life something in there so that people... Um, who are interested in doing that will find me easily. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's where I'm at. So, downsizing from 12 to 24 to, I don't know, foot of, my bed is like six feet long. So, <laughs> that that long, six feet by whatever it is inside, not very big. Um, so, trying to come up with some good hacks. And there's so much out there and so many people that have like tried building or have built crazy things in the beds of their trucks. Um, I have a newer truck, so I'm not willing to totally drill holes through it. Um, but I don't think I need to. So, um, yeah, so I'm just researching all that stuff. So, um, this video is long enough, but thanks for watching and, uh, post comments below if you have questions and then that'll give me ideas for future videos too. And I'll keep you all informed and posted on what I'm doing. All right. Bye.